we're on Highway 22 right now, uh, just north of Drayton Valley, and really all around this area, you can see the results of this fire so far, how quickly it moved, uh, how far it moved in really just a matter of a couple days. We were on the east side of the North Saskatchewan River uh, a little bit earlier today in the Buck Creek area, and there you saw a ton of charred brush in a lot of areas. The ground is still smoldering. It is still smoking as well, and that's a big concern for fire officials because when that fire gets down in that soil, it can actually burn for a number of days. A big concern once again, given how dry it is here right now. Meanwhile, earlier today, Global News did get a preview, a, a site tour rather, of the area inside the evacuation zone just south of where I'm standing right now. Let's take a look at some of those images right now. And it was really a, largely a scene of uh, destruction as we toured some of those burned out areas, black smoking trees, burned grass and soil as well. The smoke unbelievably thick in the area, despite the fact there has been rain here for the past two days. Much of the area remains once again bone dry. Now we received a detailed update on the status of the fire from Drayton Valley's fire chief Tom Thompson who was extremely emotional as well during this news conference. He says the fire remains out of control, and as long as that is the case, there will be no re-entry for evacuees. We are getting immense pressure uh, from our evacuees to come back to the community, and they want to come home. We hear you. I have a family too. That's not here. Many of the people that are in place working on this incident have also been evacuated. So please be patient with us. We are working very hard and we understand everybody wants to come home. So once again, you can see the emotion right there, the tears in his eyes as he gives that update. Once again, reminding people they should not approach the town site of Drayton Valley. It is simply too dangerous at this point in time. If people attempt to do so, they will be turned back at check stops like this one.